going to share with you the uh, spider I uh, caught today. Let's see if I can get her to come out and uh, you can have a look at her. She's in here. As far as feeding my um, pets here, and as I always tell people, if you're going to have animals, whether it be spiders or crickets or lizards or snakes, whatever it may be, they require a lot of care, which is why I don't like really being a zookeeper, because it takes a lot of work to keep them clean, well-fed, well-watered, and keep their, uh, their habitats in places where they can have something to enjoy. The only other one I got to feed here uh, today is a nocturnal spider. It's called a f furrow orb weaver. Say that fast ten times. Well, this morning, this orb weaver that I brought home from a um, nature trail uh, called Hemlock area, it was actually camping out in their mailbox, and I saw that she was gravid, full of eggs, so I didn't uh, want the female to lay her egg there, and so they'd have hundreds of beetle babies crowding all over their mailbox. <laughs> So I brought her home and put her in my aquarium and uh, this morning, about uh, four or five days after I brought her home, look what we have. Mama and egg sac. standing guard over that egg nest. If I were to get a little closer with the camera, she would get a little agitated, so we don't want to excite the girl. But I am glad she got her egg nest laid. I'm going to see if I can coax this uh, orb weaver. to leave her egg for a little bit 
and go off into the web that she's made after a cricket. There's her web. She's gonna try and wrap some webbing around this cricket that's larger than she is. You'll see her back leg starting to draw out the webbing, the silk web from her spinnerets. She's gonna administer another bite here. Add a little more of the venom. That should slow the cricket down some before she attempts to wrap it up. There she goes. There comes the webbing. And she begins to wrap up her prey using the hind legs to pull the special webbing used in this particular case to wrap up her prey coming out in multiple strands as she pulls it out and positions it around the cricket She's, she's cutting off her prey and taking it up to the corner. Yeah, looks like she'll be doing some nice dining tonight.
here's some of the uh, furrow spiders' babies right here that have hatched. They're just little itty bitty things. Here's some of the furrowing, or it's called a, uh, or a, a <laughs> it's called a, a fur. <laughs> It's called a f furrow orb weaver. Say that fast ten times.